How's it hanging, Freedom Partners? My name is Voya, and welcome back to Freedom Flash Fridays Episode 2. Last time we talked about Photopea, a free-to-use photo editing tool that you can use directly from your browser. I demonstrated the tools that the program provides and how to use them when making a thumbnail. But now, it's time to put your inner Picasso to work and get painting away on the perfect, ideal thumbnail. Let's go. And here we are back in Photopea. Now, if none of this looks familiar, I suggest you go back and watch last week's episode, which taught you all about starting Photopea, using Photopea, and all that fun stuff. So go watch that if you haven't, but if you have, then let's start. So all you have to do, like before, is go to New Project, set this to 200, and make sure you have an HD thumbnail and a transparent background. I'm gonna create that, and here we have our beautiful template. Now first what we're gonna want is Photopea for the background. So here, I have a little picture of Photopea inside Photopea. We'll have some Photopeaception in here. All we're gonna want to do for this is simply resize it. Now, it won't be the exact size, and you'll see that it's a little blurry, but that's fine. We'll fix that. First, you have this. Then, as I taught before, you'll want to go here, blur, and Gaussian blur. Now, here's where things get a little tricky since you want the perfect blur. You don't want it to be too blurry, where it's past the point of no return, and you don't want it to be too visible, where it is distracting. So you want it to be about perfect, and this will change depending on which picture you use. This one looks good about at a 6. So here, we have it at a 6. Now all you're gonna have to do is drag in this, and here is our beautiful series logo, Freedom Flash Fridays. Now, you do not want it to be the biggest part of the thumbnail, since it's just, it's just a series, just a series name. You don't want it to be the focus of the thumbnail, but you still want it to be there just so the people know. So we'll put that, we'll put that about right there. That looks good to me. I like that. That looks beautiful. Well, next, you don't always have to do this, but if you want to, you can put what episode number it is. You don't always have to, as I said, but sometimes it's nice just to see which episode it is compared to some others. Not that you can't read the title or anything, but it's still nice to have sometimes. So, number two, but that's a little, little hard to read, don't you think? And I'll say yes. That's when we're gonna go down here. Go to stroke. Make sure we can actually see what we're doing and match the stroke color. And there you go, look at that. It's beautiful, it's easy to read, and it looks delicious. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna want the Photo P logo. Whoop, right there. Here is the Photo P logo, and this is pretty small. It's pretty bland looking. It's just sitting there doing nothing. So let's take it, let's resize it, and make it look nice, right there but it still doesn't look that nice. So let's make it look a little nicer. Go back to stroke again, make it white again, since that's our color scheme, and boom, there you go. There is the logo. Now this is good and all, but there's still all this empty space and there's nothing here to tell you what the video's about. Well, let's change that. First, we're gonna have two lines of text. We're going to change the font to Fira Sands, right here. These are all your different Fira Sands. We're using the first one. The first line that we're using is just to type out Photopea, right there. Now, we want it to match the angle of the logo and stretch it out a bit just to take up some more room. Just like that. Let's move it up a bit, make it look, make it look about even, there we go. We have Photopea right there and of course, as we've done with everything else on here, we want to go, add a stroke, boom, perfect. Now, we're going to make another line. What will this line be? This second line will be called Thumbnails in. Thumbnails in Photopea. That's the title. You're telling me that we can fit the entire title just in the thumbnail? Yes. Yes, you can, comments. And we'll put it about about right there. That looks good to me. But it blends in a little too much. Like, this doesn't look that good. But we can fix that easily. All you have to do is take your text right here. Go down to effects and change the stroke 
to black. Well, now it just blends in, Voya, is what you're saying in the comments. Yes, it does. But we're going to introduce a new tool called Color Overlay. You'll click that and it'll change the color of the text. You can also do that by highlighting the text, going to the text color, and then pressing OK. But this is another way you can do it, and this is the way I prefer to do it. You just click this, change it to white, and boom, you have thumbnails in Photopea. Now, this is good and all, but isn't there at least some important thing you're missing from last time, Voya? Yes, there is. What we're going to want to do is take everything that we have here, except for the background. We're going to right-click, and we're going to press Merge Layers. Now, when you do this, you'll see that all these different layers here will become one. So I can click the eye, and it'll make it all disappear. This also means that you can no longer edit anything that's on here. You can't change the strokes, you can't change the text, you can't change anything about this. But, since it's all one piece, that means anything you do will affect everything. So with everything selected, we're gonna go down to Effects, to Drop Shadow, and we're gonna add a Drop Shadow to it. Now, of course, you wanna get the shadow perfect, you don't want it to be too light, don't want it to be too dark, you just want to get it to look just, just right. And I say, I say that's about good. What do you think? Let's make it a little darker. Boom. There we go. And now we have Freedom Flash Fridays Episode 2 Thumbnails in Photopea. Now that you have your thumbnail done, there's only one step to go. And of course, that is exporting. You go to File, Export As, PNG, make sure that all your settings are correct, 1280, 720, 100% quality, press save, and it'll download your file right there, and now you're ready to use it on YouTube. And there you have it, and now you're probably saying, well, Voya, that's nice and all, and that's a swell looking thumbnail, but it doesn't quite match the look of my channel, or the feel of my channel, or the content that I do. And then I'm gonna say, well, that's good, because the series isn't over yet. For the next upcoming episodes, I am going to be taking your guys' requests on what you want to see. Whether it be thumbnails, channel art, banners, the works. Tell me what you want to see in terms of what Photopea can do, and I will show you. It could be anything, it could be what your channel's related to, it could be a game, it could be music, it could be whatever you want it to be. Even if you're into chickens, I could make something about chickens, I'm sure. But thank you all for watching episode 2 of Freedom Flash Fridays. My name is Voya, and I will see you all next week.